Thing Ketra from servicewithpurpose.net. Are you a guru? I mean, really, really a guru. Now, what do you think about when you think about a guru? Do you think about someone who just sits there and does the whole transcendental thing and hum and do all that sort of stuff? Is that what a guru means? Well, yes and no. Those people certainly are gurus. But I'm sure that there are many people in your organization who are also gurus. I get to deal with all sorts of companies and one particular group I deal with is mechanics. Either people who fit suspension or tires or simply car tuning. So you get these guys who are about 20 to 30 years old, maybe 25 to 35 years old. They've been doing the trade for quite a while and they know this stuff backwards. You go to the tyre fitter, he knows exactly which tyre will last the longer, which is going to give the smoother, quieter ride, which is going to give the best grip in the rain, which is going to be best for cornering, which is going to be best for the dirt. They know all of this stuff. And yet, they suppress all this information. It's so hard to get, them out, get it out of them. And why? It comes back to what you, when you ask them what they do for, you, for a living. You say to these guys, hey, what do you do for a job? Oh, I'm just a tyre fitter. What do you do for a job? I'm just a mechanic. What do you do for a job? Oh, I change oil all day. Well, sorry, but you're more than that. If you've been doing or applying these trades for quite some time, even if they are to some extent easy to train and they are repetitive, you learn along the way. You see tires when you pull them off the car. You see what's happened. You see what's going out the shop, what's selling best. You drive them. You hear from other customers and yet, the customer very, very rarely interacts with these people. They'll talk to someone at the front counter. They'll talk to someone who's far removed from the situation. So if you own one of these stores, get these people a little bit more up front. And then I hear you saying, oh my God, I wouldn't let them anywhere near the customer. Well, that's because often it's because of how these people see themselves in the situation. I'm just. I'm just a this, I'm just a that. No, no, hang on a second. You're a guru. You know this stuff back to front. If I'm getting tires changed or I'm getting suspension fitted on my car, I want to talk to the people who really, really, really know about it. I don't want to talk to someone who's just learnt how to sell stuff on the phone or learnt how to sell stuff over the counter. I want to talk to the expert. Let them know they're the expert. Now, sure, they're a bit rough around the edges, but that's fine. I expect the mechanic to have the dirty hands. I expect him not to speak in the most eloquent manner. But I also expect him to tell me, or her, to tell me exactly what I need. So when you hear this situation, and often these people are called into a, an environment where they have to come out from the workshop, out of the back counter, and that they have to serve. Tell them, guys, you are the guru. And the beauty of being the guru is this, and people forget it. If you're the guru, people will do what you say. Now we all know, if I go to the doctor with my kid, and the doctor says, take these three pills three times a day, I will take exactly what the doctor says. Or, more so with my child, I'll take exactly what the doctor says that child should be having. If I'm getting tires fitted and the tire mechanic says to me, these are the best tires for you for driving around, bit of city, bit of country where there's rain and snow involved, I'm getting what that person told me. Don't be afraid to come out of your shell, tell people what's best and let them make their own mind up. You don't have to sell, just give them the opportunity to buy. Thanks once again, it's Stephen DiPietro from servicewithpurpose.net.